Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving ecology. In this video, three different biogeochemical cycles will be described. Bio refers to life, geo refers to the earth, chemical refers to chemicals, and cycles are things that go in circles. What we're talking about are earth cycles that involve living organisms and chemicals. The nitrogen cycle, one of the three cycles that will be described in this video, is illustrated on this slide. The water cycle is the process by which water moves to and from the sea, air, and land. Water moves from bodies of water to the air in a process called evaporation. Water leaves living organisms such as plants in a process called transpiration or evapotranspiration, both of which are highlighted here. Water leaves the atmosphere and lands on the earth through a process called precipitation. Water also melts from snow at high elevations in the mountains and from large levels of precipitation in a process called runoff. The carbon cycle is a process by which the element carbon moves to and from the earth and atmosphere. Carbon, in the form of carbon dioxide, is removed from the atmosphere through a process called photosynthesis. Half of an entire unit is devoted to the process of photosynthesis and how it works. Carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere in a variety of different ways. Cellular respiration is almost the exact opposite of photosynthesis and the other half of the unit that I referenced earlier. Carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere when matter decays and when waste is produced by animals, as well as the human use of fossil fuels. All of these different methods of carbon entering the atmosphere are highlighted on this slide. The nitrogen cycle is the process by which nitrogen is added or removed from the atmosphere. This process, that you're probably less familiar with than the previous two cycles, is very important for organisms such as fish and plants. Nitrogen levels in the water, in nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia, can be lethal to fish. This can be one of the major causes of death of fish in fish tanks. In addition, bacteria and plants commonly form symbiotic relationships to get the nitrogen that they need to survive. Nitrogen is supplied by decomposers breaking down food sources the fecal waste of organisms such as animals, and the atmosphere, which is 78% in two or nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is fixed or removed, used by bacteria in symbiotic mutualistic relationships, plants and bacteria in the soil, and denitrifying bacteria. Nitrogen is often added to feed plants and fertilizers. That is the end of this video, providing an overview of three of the most important biogeochemical cycles. If you're interested in learning more about ecology or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.